the Christian View. Thank you all so much for coming. It's where we take today's hot topics and we weigh them against the Word of God because God does have, have a view. And we want to thank you at home for watching and all you out there in Radio Land. Thank you so much for listening. We have a great topic today, unwrapping ourselves and what we see. You know, Trudy, you're an image expert. You know, when we think about looking at ourselves, what we see really is just based on the quality of the mirror that we're looking into. If it's a good mirror or a bad yeah. mirror, uh -huh. you know, what we see. Good day or bad day. But Trudy, when I look at myself, not just the outward self, but when I look at my inward self, I may see something entirely different than what you see when you look at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some people, we never, we never know what is going on on the inside of people right. that could be living in bondage, defeat. We just never know. Right, right, right. And I do deal with that a lot, Jackie, with wardrobing and personal development. And I tell you, I have found that there are four things that usually cause bondage and defeat. And that is listening to the wrong voices, the voices in our head that are just telling us the wrong things, comparison, comparing ourselves to others. We never compare apples to apples, mm -hmm. not trusting God at his word and having unrealistic expectations. Those four things just set us up for defeat over and over again. But to counter that, if we renew our minds daily with God's word and take our minds cap back, you know, take not let them be turned over to those negative thoughts and take captive those thoughts, and we um, tell ourselves things that, that God says about us, that we're war mighty warriors, more than conquerors. If God be for us, who can be against who us? Be against and us? fight those voices every single time they come, you know, then that's the road to victory. But mm -hmm. you know what, Dr. Trudy? Yes, ma'am. I think a lot of times people just base what they're feeling on the inside to what they look like when they look in the mirror on the outside. I think you're right. And, and the enemy, is, it's a common goal of the enemy to keep us in bondage. I was mm -hmm. working with a little girl. Actually, she wasn't little. She's married with three kids who was in an abusive relationship. And she went back last week. And she, and I asked her why. Mm -hmm. And she goes, because that's what I deserve. Mm -hmm. So oh, she wow. did not yeah, feel. Yeah. And yeah. Yes. thankfully, yes. she left again. And she's like, I'm never going back. And I said, you have to know who Christ says you are. You do yeah. not deserve to be in bondage. You do not deserve to be abused. You yeah. are a beautiful daughter of the king. Yeah. And so often the enemy just puts blinders on our yeah. eyes from our past, things that have been spoken over us, yeah. and we, for, we, we we draw a blank on who God says we are. So yeah, it's, the, the words uh, gives us a, the perspective of being grasshoppers in our own sight. You know, mm -hmm. um, the reality mm -hmm. is that God mm -hmm. wants us to take the land and right. then we end up seeing ourselves after our image of ourselves mm -hmm. as opposed to his image and then we end up acting like something that we're not. And so one of the main things, and I love what you, you said before, Trudy, in a sense of, of that that comparison that we do mm -hmm. or we allow those other voices the reality that we have to only receive the voice of God that tells us our true right. selves. Right, our truth. And I think we also, it goes back to those impressionable years when we were forming our identity, mm -hmm. that who we allowed to validate us mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what we allowed to validate us. Many times the failures that we've had in life and the hurts and the pains and all those things and people telling us different things about ourselves, we wrap ourselves up in those mm -hmm. things and they mm -hmm. carry forward in years. And many times it's not until we get to a certain place and we realize in psychology, we call them attribution errors. We make faulty assumptions about ourselves and mm -hmm. we move forward and not really recognizing that we need to go through a deregulation process and Ooh, really begin to like see <laughs> what does God say right, about right. us, you know? Yeah. He says that, you know, you're what fearfully and wonderfully mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. You're unique, you know, in yeah. who you are. I'm gonna yes. tell you something, Rebecca King. Yeah. Here's another big one. Yeah. There are a lot of people out there mm -hmm. that they look like they're Christians. <laughs> Yes. They'll tell you they're Christians. Yeah. Oh, but they've never, ever accepted ever. Christ as their oh, Savior well, on the inside. Never had a relationship with the Lord. And you know, when you're in that state, when you're not walking with the Lord, you are bound in fear mm -hmm. and doubt and mm -hmm. unbelief yes. mm -hmm. and self-doubt. That's why a life with Jesus Christ is the best life that we could ever have. And you know, so many women will say, I'm just a behind-the-scenes person. Have you guys ever <laughs> heard people yeah. say that? Right. And yes. I don't yeah. let women get away with that because yeah. I feel like all 
of us, if you are in Christ, yes. you are called to be out front mm -hmm. and to give yes. your testimony and mm -hmm. to be bold and courageous. And That's really, right. you can only be courageous through Christ. That's right. that, that, but it also goes to show, Lee, no matter what you're living in, whether it's, whether you're drowning in financial debt, health problems, marriage problems, kids out of control, you can still live a victorious life with joy. Yes, you mm -hmm. can. Yes, you can live a victorious life. And one of the things you have to do, you have to get over that self-defeating behavior yeah. and you have to move past these things because the enemy comes to put you in a box, you know. Yes. He comes to bind you, yes. but you have to realize that life is too short to live in a box, you know. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. only thing that keeps us from moving forward in God is fear. Right. And the Word teaches us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens That's us right. and He helps us to move mm -hmm. forward. And live above your circumstances, yes. you know. And it takes a lot of courage to... It takes a lot of faith, It too. takes faith and courage to live the victorious yes. life, but you just can't let fear and dread rob you of your destiny. And I think we have to, I mean, I do this sometimes, and I even did it with my son when he was little, and now my little daughter, I put her in the, in the mirror, and I say, I speak over here, her what God, mm -hmm. and yes. over him what God says about mm -hmm. us. And I do that to myself sometimes. I'm like, you. I have to you say, have I am the righteous. Well, you do, righteous. Really, really <laughs> take a breath. I will, I will. But we have to, we have to speak it. We have to speak it and bring it into yeah. the atmosphere. We yeah. are the righteousness yes, of Christ. We right. are physical. A fear feeling wonderfully made That's in right. his we image are. and we lack no good thing but again I think we've already said this but Satan wants us bound yes, he, yeah. does. he doesn't yes, want us to does. know the truth we, and the we, truth we, will we set let, us free we, we let the world define mm -hmm. us right. yes. and and unfortunately you if, are so right and, yeah. and the, the thing about it is that we're supposed to be the ones who lead the world but we end up mm -hmm. following the world oh, and yes. allowing the world yeah. to, to, to tell us who we are yeah. you know how crazy it is for someone who's not a Christian to tell you what a Christian should be this is good stuff. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going to take a deeper look at our inner beings. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> Why are we